Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2. So, we are doing Operation Vengeful Green, which is the Advent Black side. We got Rose, Grumpy, Anna, Garantio, Ronald and Alec. Which is Templar, Infantry, Samurai, Psionic, Specialist and Grenadier. I upgraded the Siam and the Gremlin, so there's that. And it's a fairly strong squad overall. Infiltrate and investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize yes, Bradford, we contacts. expect heavy resistance. Alright then, so let's move. No Reaper, unfortunately, so no easy mode scouting, but we should be fine. Understood. Moving out. Off we go then. We started right next to the facility. Which is interesting. Oh no, hold on, that's not the facility, that's just... A completely separate building. Okay then. Closing on target position now. I suppose that's fine. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Here we got a group. Right, not much point engaging them just yet. But let's move as close as we are able to. I do have some battle scanners, but there's no need to use them right now. We know exactly where the enemy is. Maybe we could use some high ground. Well, possibly, but then we'll probably be too far away. And I don't have a sharpshooter in here. So let's just move as close as we can. That will do. We should probably kill them. So that they won't bother us later. Not really a dangerous group on its own, but yeah, they could join the party while we're fighting someone else. How about we move a little bit closer, still? I think we're kind of out of range. Can anyone even initiate combat right now? Roger that. Michael? Okay, now we can see them. So we could initiate like this. That's an option. I wouldn't mind shredding that guy. Because that's a lot of armor. Yeah, we could shred him from full cover. Uh, let's just do that then. I don't think I want Overwatch. Uh, maybe with Ronald. Okay, Ronald can Overwatch. And I think that will do. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's take that shot then. 82% chance to shred. Alright, go. And there it is, we even got a crit. Nicely done. So they do also have a skirmisher. And he will use grapple immediately. Interesting. Can we hit him? No. That was 74% too. That was a very good chance to hit. But apparently not good enough. Oh wait, what the heck happened here? Oh! We made a hole in the roof. And he fell to the ground. But now we can't see him anymore. Is that like a reverse cruiser maneuver? <laughs> That's what it seems to be. Okay then. Well, let's kill this dude. And then just parry. Works for me. I could hit the skirmisher, but I can't actually see him. Which is a little bit awkward. I guess we'll just overwatch and parry. That seems to be the best option right now. I mean, that seems to be the only option right now, as far as I'm concerned. Alright then, I guess that's what we'll do. Here you go. Bring it on. Oh, is the Warlock in here? Or a Chosen? Is it the Warlock? Uh, no, this is not the Warlock's territory. That's the Hunter. We can deal with that. That shouldn't be a huge problem. Especially since we have a Templar, it's dangerous, and the Hunter is weak to Templars. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. Might be a slight annoyance, but that's children. about it. He is basically dangerous. on the other side of the Stay map. Of anyway, here comes the Skirmisher. Oh, he's actually targeting Anna, okay. Whatever, we got the shield. That's almost the entire shield gone, however. Alright, well, let's kill this dude, shall we? 
hit him first, and then we can finish him off with the Templar for plus one focus. And we'll get some loot as well. But that was quite a lot of damage right there. We got expanded magazine and another expanded magazine. Alright then. So, let's move on, shall we? Let's maybe not trigger anything else on this turn. Now might be a good moment to throw a battle scanner. I suppose we can do that. There should be something in this general area. Probably. Uh, that's the building right here. Okay, well, let's just throw it anyway. Yep. Berserker. And what else? Berserker and two armored vipers. That's a pretty nasty group, actually. Okay. Need to be careful about that one. Let's maybe dash forward a little bit. So that we'll be closer. Ronald needs to reload. Alright, and let's see what they are going to do. Yeah, okay, they are moving to the right. They are actually pretty close. Oh, and here's another group. Bio Faceless and Advent Mech. I guess we'll deal with that. Shouldn't really be a problem. I'm glad we didn't trigger both. And the Hunter. He will probably target one person. And then we'll have to move out of the way. Yeah, tracking shot. That's what he usually does. Alright, well, I guess we just need to move out of the way. Let's be careful to not trigger that Berserker. I can't see it anymore, but we know it's there. Right, hold on. Before we do anything, how about we shred that mech? That sounds like a good idea. Also, I don't think I'll be able to rush them. As in, into melee range. Because I'm pretty sure that will trigger the other group. I would rather avoid that, if possible. Let's hit the mech first. With Shredder. And then we can finish the job. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I actually have armor piercing rounds on Grumpy, so that's a thing. Anyway, yeah, I don't think I can melee the bio faceless, so let's just hit it the regular way. And we could set up with a blade storm if we can't hit it. Just move the Templar. Oh, never mind, it's stunned. Not a problem then. Yeah, it's going down. It's basically as good as dead. Done. Okay, so now we need to take care of the Berserker. As in, not literally now, but on the next turn. Alright then. They were moving in this general direction. Nothing yet. Well, we could just wait one more turn and reload. It's not like we are in a rush. Yeah, let's just reload everything. And I'll wait one more turn. Here. Oh yeah. The Templar has overly aggressive. We have to expect our soldiers to feel the strength Oh shut up, Bradford. This is war. Time to recover properly. They probably moved back left by now. This is where having a Reaper would be really useful, but alas, we do not have one. Alright, well, let's move in, shall we? I would prefer to stay in cover. I still got one more battle scanner, but it's not really needed right now. Let's move a little bit closer, but not too close. Just yet. Here, that will do. And Overwatch. Alright, 
They might come into our range. There's the Chosen. Okay, still nothing. Right, well, let's move there one more go. time. That's the facility, yes, we know. That's literally why we're here. Okay, still nothing. I might just move in a bit closer and then overwatch. We just need to have line of sight. Okay. Yeah, if they come back in this direction again, we will see them. So I think that's what I I'm going to do. Okay. Line of sight might be a little bit weird from here, actually. But there? I prefer to stay in cover. Play. For obvious reasons. Okay, Overwatch. Overwatch. Not for you, though. Come on now, we know you're there. I'll just move in further if they don't show up. Okay, fine, let's just move in further. Not a problem. Still nothing. If you say so. Okay, this is getting a little bit weird. I hope it's worth it. Where did they go? They have to be somewhere around here. But let's not waste the battle scanner. It might still come in handy. Alright, Overwatch. Oh, there we go. That's different. Archon Shaman. I mean... Oh wait, it didn't actually see us. Interesting. Well then, maybe we can ambush it. That would be nice. Let's try that then. Is it clear? So, Overwatch one more time. Alright, Overwatch one more time. I don't have two Mimic Beacons, by the way. As you probably saw at the end of the previous episode. Come on now, we are literally right here. Okay, never mind. Fine, we'll move in. Who wants to move in first? Not that it matters too much. Let's move in with Anna first. Wait, what? Okay, this is getting a little bit strange. <laughs> I seriously expected to trigger something by now. And by that I mean two turns ago. Well, sure, let's just wait. A little bit longer. I'm okay with that. Come on, give me my ambush. There we go, now it will see us. Yes, finally. Let's do some damage, people. Go, go, go. Anyone else? Go, go, Ronald. Or not. So that's an Archon and I saw a Sectoid. What's with the misses? Come on now. I think we have one more shot. Maybe, maybe not. Anyone? Well, at least we did some damage, but it wasn't exactly a lot. Yeah, that was mostly misses, unfortunately. Well then. And now he's inside the building or something. Yeah, I can't actually see the shaman. He seems to be inside the building. That's not quite what I wanted. But alright. So, I suppose we'll kill the sectoid. Works for me. This might trigger the berserker. I don't even know what it is. Wait, seriously? How do you miss with 94% from melee range? Come on now. And we also have a turret. And now it's flanking me. That's just great. I might actually use Inspire here. But I'll need to move first. Well then. Or we can kill the Sectoid with Rosa. But there's still the turret problem. 
I might be able to just destroy the turret. First, let's kill the sector, shall we? Here. Then, let's see if we can take care of the turret. Okay, so, turret. That is a lot of armor on the turret. I need a shred. I can also try to disable it with Haywire Protocol. But even if we use Haywire Protocol, we'll have to destroy the turret sooner or later anyway. So shredding it is a good idea regardless. There it is. So let's see if we can destroy it. If not, I'll use Haywire Protocol. I might be too far away. Yeah, I think I'm mostly too far away. Alright, fine. That's actually 100% chance to shut down. We could try to take control, but there's no need. And taking control could actually trigger another group. I would definitely prefer to avoid that. Just shut it down. That's good enough. Now, that Archon Shaman is still out there. I'm not actually sure what exactly the Archon Shaman can do. I have a feeling we are about to find out. So first we'll use parry, and then I guess overwatch. Yeah. Alright, bring it on. Here it comes. Okay, that's stock damage. Will he target Anna or Rosa? There's the blade storm. Come on, who are you targeting? Oh, okay. That's 8 damage. We might need a heal right about now. Tracking shot again. So, let's move and heal up, shall we? Can we get line of sight to the shaman just in case? Well, not quite. I'm going to heal up. Okay, fine. Let's just do that. Here, that's plus 5. And now we can kill it. Do we still need plus on focus? No, we do not. So, just kill it. Hey, hold on. We still need to destroy the turret. Let's make sure we'll do that. There we go. Now we can take care of the Archon. That is going to be easy. It only has 11 health. So, yeah, it's going down. And now we can get a kill with Rosa. Done. So, the Berserker is still out there with two armored vipers. That was actually a pretty dangerous group. I might even use the Mimic Beacon on it. We'll see. Let's actually find it first. Or let it find us. I would prefer the later rather than the former. Oh yeah, there they are. They were just inside, apparently. Okay, that's fine. And we did 7 damage. So we got Stasis, we got Frost Bomb, and we got Mimic Beacons. And here's Bladestorm! Nice. That was pretty much the best case scenario right there. Missed. But we did lots of damage already. Okay, so let's see how we're going to deal with this. We can definitely kill that Viper on the left. I see you. Yes, good the for you. Alright, how do we do this? I could use Staggering Shot, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. We also have Flare, but I don't think it's going to be needed. How much damage? Can Anna do? 8 guaranteed damage. So... That's almost a guaranteed kill on the Viper. I think I'll do it like that. Let's do it like that then. Okay, one damage short. That's slightly disappointing. Never mind. I'm not sure if I can kill all of them. But I can use Reaper. 
that way the Viper with one health won't matter. We just need to do enough damage to all of them to be able to finish them off with Reaper. Should be doable, I guess we'll find out. Can we get line of sight to that Berserker? Apparently that's hard. What the heck? Okay, I can get line of sight from here. I won't have any cover, right, but hopefully that won't matter too much. I kind of need that shot, so... There it is. That almost killed it. Okay, so now we only need to hit the armored viper. Uh, yeah, okay, except he's actually inside the building. I might be able to hit it last, and then Bladestorm will kill it. I can always use a grenade or something like that, but I'd rather not. Also, I don't have... oh no, I don't have stock. Yeah, there's no need to use a Mimic Beacon, that would be a waste. Yeah, that would be a waste, we don't need that. And hey, 47% chance to hit through full cover is pretty good. No. Well, you tried. I'm sure you will. I still got Michael, so I mean, I could always just stay this that armored viper. Honestly, I might just do that to play it safe. Yeah. Oh wait, why can I not use Reaper? No, yeah, I can use Reaper. So let's use Reaper. We'll kill the Berserker and the Armored Viper. And then we'll hit the Viper inside. So, other Viper. Let's see how much damage we'll do to the Armored Viper. Because technically we don't have 10% chance to crit. Okay. It is disoriented now. I can't quite kill it. Even with an Inspire. So let's just Stasis. Stasis is fine. We'll deal with it on the next turn. Yes, yes you do. Come and get us. Okay, so let's kill the Viper now. Maybe get another kill for Anna. Wouldn't mind the promotion. Well, I suppose that won't be a kill. Oh no, yeah, it will be. Nice. There's our actual objective. Okay then, so let's keep moving, might be good to reload, but some overwatch probably wouldn't hurt. There's definitely going to be at least one more group, we did not kill all the advent. I'm not counting the hunter in that. Okay, reload. And everyone else can use overwatch. So where the heck is the hunter? He's like all the way to the left, in this area. I think he's somewhere over here. I'm not even sure anymore. But let's move towards our actual objective, shall we? Because that's why we're here. Oh yes, there it is, we know. Alright then. Let's move in. Oh, here we got a group. They were hiding. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. That's just a mech and two troopers. And here comes Bladestorm. I love Bladestorm, it's so good. We should do something about that armor. Yes, we will do something about that, don't you worry. Alright, so let's kill the trooper. Uh, this one or this one? Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, hold on, we can actually skull mine one of them. I don't see why not, we might get a little bit of extra intel. That certainly won't hurt. Yeah, we got it, nice. 
So that should be 20 intel. Not a massive amount, but it's 20 extra intel that we wouldn't otherwise get. So, works for me. Alright, well, let's kill the trooper with Rosa. And that's a promotion. Nice. Major. That's the first major on our roster, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the case. And another kill for Anna. Nice one. So, we still got the hunter. We could leave without killing the hunter, but I would prefer to kill him. If possible. Because that will give us some extra ability points. I won't say no to extra ability points. Well, we'll see. I don't even know where he is. Oh yeah, there he is. Okay. He's pretty close. Maybe we should just leave. I don't know, maybe we should just leave. Who wants to grab the vial? I mean, it doesn't really matter all that much. Let's pick it up. Oh, hi, one more group, right. Uh, that shouldn't really be a problem. I still got both Mimic Beacons. Two armored vipers and a muton, okay. I'm going to grab the vial anyway. So, there it is. And there's the extraction. Or is it? Is that a new group? Yeah, yeah, just grab it already, it's fine. Just take it already. Yeah, that's just reinforcements, basically. Okay then, so let's see what we can do. Might as well charge that Viper, I guess. I can't really charge the Muton, that would be a bad idea. I'll probably use the Mimic Beacon, especially since we are quite far away. So, who has the Mimic Beacon? Grumpy and the other person is Alec, okay. Well, Alec doesn't have stock, but at the same time, he's actually really far away. Let's see how far I can actually throw the beacon, and then we can decide. About this far. Well, the mutant will see it, certainly. I think Grumpy can throw it a little bit further. Okay, let's just do it like this. And we'll kill the Viper on the left. Anna isn't quite close enough, unfortunately. That is slightly disappointing. And Ronald is also a little bit too far away. Yeah, I am quite far away. Let's take that shot then. Missed. Well, you tried. Oh, did we destroy cover? I think we actually did. But are we in range to take advantage of that? Yes, we are. At least Michael is. I'll take it. Yeah, let's just take that shot. I'll save stasis for the next turn. And parry. We got... Armored Viper, Archon, and what else? And another Armored Viper. There are a lot of Armored Vipers. And they are pretty dangerous. Well, anyway, here comes the Muton. And that's a nice shot. He will hit the beacon. We are not done just yet. Okay, there's the parry. But now the other Viper might not target the beacon. Well, there's Bladestorm. I don't think that will kill it. Yes, it will. Nice. Good job, everyone. Still got the Hunter. Okay, how do we do this? 
good question. I don't like that Archon Warrior too much. I also don't want to trigger the Hunter right now. Yeah, I'd rather avoid that if possible. Let's kill the Muton first, because that's an obvious target. Who's going to do that? No one with melee, that's for sure. I could kill it with soul fire, and that would be a granted kill. I'm just a little bit too far away for anything else, really. So let's just use the soul fire. That should be a kill. There it is. Now, what about our new friends to the left? I'm actually thinking another Mimic Beacon might be good. It's not like we'll use it for anything else. We actually got three Armored Vipers. Yeah, that's a nasty, nasty group right there. I don't like it too much. I don't like it at all. It might be best to dash towards them. Because I'm just too far away to do anything. Yeah, let's just dash. And... Huh. Yeah, I don't know about this. I can kill one of them. Most likely. We can also use our focus. But that's not super useful because we're too far away. I'll have to dash regardless. We still have teamwork. So what if we use teamwork on Alec? It's a shame I can't hit more than one target with the frost bomb right now. They are too spread out. It might still be worth freezing one of them, honestly. And it's not like we'll use that frost bomb for anything else. This mission is almost done. I think it's best if we just use the frost bomb. So let's use the frost bomb on the Viper. And then what? Well, then we can kill the Viper on the right side. I'm just not entirely convinced it's such a good idea to step outside. It might not be. I can still hit it with Rosa and then move. How much health do we have? 12 health. Hey, wait, that's Ronald. How much health is this? 12? Uh, this seems bugged. 12 health. Yeah, not amazing. I'm not convinced this is a good idea. I do have to move with Rosa, that much is obvious. So let's attack that Viper outside. And then we can move somewhere. Here. Oh, it's stunned now, good. Well, that's pretty much the best outcome possible. Now we can move into full cover. Or we can parry, because the Viper is stunned, the other Viper is frozen, which leaves us with the Archon and with another Viper. And we also have two armor on Rosa. Not to mention 18 health. I think parry will be the best solution here. Now, I could still hit one Viper, but I don't really want to do that. Let's just move closer. So that we'll have options on the next turn. Yeah, I'm just going to move closer, but that's it. Over here or so? Not too far away. This should be safe. That's the sea ship. And we could throw a grenade, just to shred some armor. It's just that I don't really want to destroy the wall. But I wouldn't mind shredding the armor. There. Okay, and that leaves us with Ronald. He's a little bit too far away to do much. 
We can move and reload, or we can just dash closer to the action. Yeah, he can't move a whole lot and still reload, but alright, let's reload. And the dots are turned on. Let's see what's going to happen. Rosa might take some damage, but we can handle it. There's Bladestorm. Seven damage to the warrior. So this will get absorbed by parry. Wait, what? Oh, he has Bladestorm too. Right. And that can't get parried, apparently. What the heck is happening? Did he just teleport but not teleport? I'm not entirely sure what actually happened there. There's another blade storm. We did quite a lot of damage. Uh, that was weird. Rosa is bound now. But that's not really a problem. Yeah, that was a bit of a weird sequence. I'm not entirely sure what exactly happened. But okay. So let's kill the Viper first, shall we? This one right here. Yeah. Okay, let's do it! Go, go, go! Six damage. I was hoping for a little bit more than that. But that will free our Templar. I'll take it. And we do have Reaper. What's the minimum damage we'll do? Eight damage is the minimum. Okay. So... We might be able to kill the majority of this group, if not the entire group. Might be doable, yes. I got line of sight with Grumpy and he has superior stock and 90% chance to hit. Alright, let's do it. He can probably kill that Viper on his own. And if not, it will have like one health left. No, it's dead. Okay, we can definitely do this. Can't quite get line of sight with Ronald, but that's fine. What about Alec? Okay, I can do some more damage to the armored Viper. So. so let's do that. Just to make sure they will all die. Yes, that one. Maybe we won't need a Reaper, but I think we do. I just can't get line of sight very well. Sure thing. I can almost kill them without a Reaper. Just not quite. Yeah, not quite. Let's do this. Alright, Reaper is fine. That's what it's there for, right? Yes, indeed. The Archon Warrior has Bladestorm, right? Yes, he does. Well, that's the problem. I don't really want to get hit with Bladestorm. But I can't hit it anymore. I guess I might just have to heal myself if it fails. Okay, fine, Reaper. Let's kill the warrior first. So this will trigger Bladestorm on us. Four damage, I'm okay with that. And now he's dead. Warriors are pretty dangerous. Okay, now we can kill the other two. That's going to be a kill for sure. And then we can heal ourselves. And then we can either leave or we can kill the hunter. There, so now let's maybe heal ourselves. That sounds like a good idea to me. And let's see what the hunter is going to do. Here, we actually got two more heals. So that's plus five. Alright, that was a pretty good turn for us. So there's the hunter. Did he see us or not? I think so. Surely it saw us. Well, in that case, let's kill it. I probably can't kill it on this turn. However, well, hold on, maybe we can, actually. The only problem is that... 
Okay, no, Rosa is actually in range. We might be able to kill it. Just need to take advantage of the weaknesses. Which is this one, Bewildered. I need to stack this with the Templar attack. Still, the main problem right now is that half of my squad is a little bit far away. That is definitely an issue. But it should be fine still. Okay, let's try. First, we'll get some high ground and to try to shred the armor and get the first shot in. The Templar needs to be the third shot. Okay, now it triggered or what? Okay, just take a shot. We can also blow it up, but I don't think that will be necessary. Also, it's not that much damage. Okay, who's next? I need to open that door. And I plan to use Inspire on the Templar. So that's what we're going to do. But if I open the door, I might be able to take a shot... Not with Ronald, but maybe with Grumpy? No, probably not. I don't think so. Alright, let's hit him with Anna. That will be the second hit. And then we can use the Templar. Try to not miss. There it is, we even got a crit, that's 15. He will die. He's basically as good as dead right now. Yep. We actually won't even need Inspire, it's basically dead. Straight up. Goodbye. 18 damage. Good job everyone. That's plus 10 ability points. Now, let's get the heck out of here. I think I had quite enough of this mission by now. Yes, it's time to get out of here. Let's go everyone. We're done. I'm sure we'll see them again, but that yes, we will, Bradford. The fight we put up today. I will definitely try to raid it as soon as I'm able to. And I need that fire to go away. I don't want to set myself on fire while evacuating. Reinforcements? Do we have to fight those? Yeah, the fire is still there. Uh, we can go this way. Can we? Hold on. Uh, yeah, we can. That's a little bit far away. But I'd rather not set myself on fire, like I already said. And not everyone is in range of the evac just yet, right? Yeah, I mean, Alec definitely is not. Okay, fine, we'll just deal with that group. But I'm not setting myself on fire, that's just not a thing that I'm going to do. We'll go this way. And hopefully Overwatch will actually do something. That would be nice. Let's go, everyone. We probably don't have to fight them, but it's extra experience. I don't see why not. Okay, Overwatch, Overwatch. And what is it? More Armored Vipers, apparently. One Armored Viper, one Meg, and one Stun Lancer, I think. Didn't quite catch it. Alright, let's do some damage, people. Or you can miss everything. Heavy Lancer, not Stun Lancer. Okay, well, is everyone in range of Evac? I was hoping to do more damage. Uh, yes, Alec is in range. Everyone is in range. So let's get the heck out of here. Let's just get the heck out of here. Let's go. We've done enough. It's time to leave. Just make sure I'll move into the actual evac zone. Would be a little bit awkward otherwise. I'm out. Avenger, this is Firebrand. Package is secure. Just in time. Go, go, go. Yeah, that's the one. Michael. And then Ronald. Oh, 
And I think that's everyone. Done. So this will further lower Avatar project progress. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Mission accomplished, Commander. We just hit Advent where it hurts. This was a place no living human being was ever intended to So, see. Rosa was the MVP. As I am to see it gone. That's a lot of awards. Something tells me the aliens won't take this lying down. And hopefully we'll get some good promotions. We did get our first major out of this, so that's good. Also, the training facility is almost done. Then we can spend some of our soldier APs. If we wish to destroy them, okay, burn. that's going to be arc wave. There's also shadow step in here. I will definitely pick that up once the training facility is done. Uh, oh wait, in case of the Templar, we don't have to wait for that. Uh, let's take that. That's really good on a Templar. And then Alec. That's going to be okay. This is a tough one. These are both good. I'll take heavy ordnance, but I'll probably pick up holo targeting once the training facility is complete. Now and it is almost done. The There's the intel that we got and 125 supplies and the radius avatar project bad. progress by two. We are fully prepared to Let's check that out. Of the so down it goes. Black site. Nice. Having destroyed their black site. So, what do we do now? Operations, Commander. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, let's finish no the Engineer, shall we? And then, we'll course. see. There are some supplies, we could get those. But I definitely want an Engineer. And there's also some intel. Okay, Guerrilla Ops. Let's take a look. Rapid response. And engineer as a reward. Alloy padding. And supplies as a reward. Or loyalty among thieves. When any chosen gains information about XCOM, a portion is passed along to the warlock as well. Okay. And intel as a reward. I wouldn't mind some intel. Phantom incursion in this one. I think I might go for this one. We are about to get an engineer, so I don't think we need yet another one. And I can deal with rapid response. That doesn't really bother me too much. We can probably deal with alloy padding as well. And intel is more valuable than supplies. I would definitely rather get 88 intel than 201 supplies. So we'll go for this one. What are the enemies? Cryo Priest, Mindbender, Berserker, Codex, Archon Shaman. Okay, and we will get Phantom Incursion. Alright, let's do that one. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.